Morning everyone. Seaboy Rich. Ridge. And this is the Anything Vlog. Where I vlog about everything. And anything. Hey, today uh, I've dropped off Elliot here at uh, PetSmart. As you can tell. That's what it says on the outside. I have a pet motel here. So he's going to be here for probably at least till tomorrow at noon. And uh, so I don't have to worry about him. And I'm going to head out to a really cool place, a place I've been before, and I want to show you guys. I'm going to meet up with my son and his girlfriend, and we're going to go out and have a good time. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You'll see when we get there. All right? All right. So let's get going. All right, guys. If you can see off in the distance, this is where we're at. That is the Queen Mary, Long Beach Harbor. So we're going to go inside and get some tickets. Go inside, get some tickets, walk around, check it out, and I'll show you whatever I see. All right, so let's go inside. It's a nice grassy area right here. I'm gonna walk over, raise the camera up so you guys can see. Sorry. Let's see it from a distance, look how big it is. It's awesome. And it's getting bigger and bigger the closer we get, which makes sense. If you've never been here before, this thing is gigantic. Looks like they're doing work on the outside. Right there, it's, you can see straight in front of me some kind of scaffolding hanging on the side. I know they've been doing some work. I know they've been doing some work on uh, fixing it up because it's been sitting here a long time. And the thing is gorgeous. I'm going to get a closer shot here, real quick. You can see where it says Queen Mary. Be a good, good screenshot, actually. Right there. That's beautiful. Look at that. Giant mast. Awesome. The picture here of all the people watching it leave. Pretty neat. It's so big that I can't get it all in one shot work being done on it. That's cool. Old workout equipment. It's crazy. It's a picture of the namesake, Queen Mary. You see that from there? Maybe not with the glare. The stores. Everything. All the memorabilia. Well, not memorabilia. Things you can buy. Captain Bear. Where we from? Say that again. Where we from? Those of you that don't know, I love ships. I actually have wooden ships big ones, one Queen Mary and Normandy. I used to have my front room of my house decorated. Hopefully, if we get back into an apartment or something, I'll be able to pull them out. Armus, Queen Mary. Those of you who don't know what the RMS stands for, it's for Royal, Royal Mail Steamer, is what it's supposed to be. Male, like their male mail like you get. Not male, like male and female. So like I said earlier, I don't know if you heard it or I said it quick, we're gonna go on a haunted tour. So we're gonna go on a tour and then we're gonna do the Queen Mary exhibit. I'm gonna see the Titanic exhibit. But yeah, we're gonna do the tour and I'll film what I can. I don't know how much I can or if they're even gonna allow it. But it should be pretty cool. All right. We even got Starbucks. That's how you know it's modern. Can't get away from Starbucks. What do you think? No, I don't think so. A whole bunch of Captain Bears. Is this called Captain Bear? <laughs> Captain Bear. And, and his, uh, what do they call it, a little trunk? Trunk of Captain Bears. Captain Bear. That's what it is now. This is, Cap this is Captain Bear. Look at these. These mugs are shaped like the funnels. On an angle. This is Bear Bellhop. So we got Captain Bear and Bear Bellhop. This was used, Winston, Winston Churchill used this as an office and as a board ship. 
Pretty cool. Kitty. And this right here is a rack of stuffed corgis. And that story goes that Queen Elizabeth loved corgis. So that's why they have these dogs in there. And stuffed corgis. But you didn't know that. Probably didn't care either. Titanic, of course. It's the opposite side. It's beautiful. I hope you can see it with the glare. That is awesome. It's now the Queen Mary, the one we're on. These things are awesome, huge. What kind of a basement you'd have to have with these. So big up the back up. Top. We're looking at the Queen Mary model where I'm on the Queen Mary. Pretty neat. And the Normandy. This ship, if you don't know the history of the Normandy, actually was sold to the US. It was gonna be renamed the Lafayette. And it caught fire when they were remodeling it. And it actually burned and turned on its side in the harbor. What a waste. This is an absolutely beautiful ship. I told you I know my ships. That was all by memory. I'm sure you're impressed. <laughs> Normandy. 1935. Lusitania. This one was sunk 1915, May 7th. Sunk by I think at least two torpedoes. One, one torpedo for sure and an explosion. I'm not sure exactly what happened, even to this day. But once again, that's all by memory. I know all that. I have a lot of useless information. Queen Elizabeth II, one of the newer ones. Nice. Gene Lines, of course. Queen Victoria. Another version, newer. And of course, Queen Mary II. Different than the one we're on now, isn't it? These are cool. They let you move it sideways. You can actually move the ship sideways and turn it. Pretty neat. All right, got to get to the tour now. We'll be elevators to bring you back up at the conclusion of our tour. Just know we're going to be covering a lot of stairs. This is also probably the tour that covers the most distance. We're probably going to do about two to three miles on this tour. But don't worry, there's going to be a lot of stops, there's going to be a lot of, you know, a lot of rest time. I'm not going to make you do it all at once. We're not also going to run through this tour either. So, just keep that in mind as we make our way through. First stop for us, we're going to go inside, down the staircase one level, and into our first room. So, follow me right this way. Not to be funny or anything, but I don't think he's running anywhere. <laughs> I don't, think we have, I don't think we have to worry about running on this tour. <laughs> Sorry, that was bad. Welcome aboard the Queen Mary. My name is Danny, and I will be your guide today on Haunted Encounters. What we're going to be discussing is not only the Queen Mary's haunted history, but also talking about some of the reports. So, uh, we stayed to mostly towards the uh, forward portion of our ship, which is, of course, called the bow. Up here in the forward portion of Queen Mary, you would have experienced probably one of the roughest rides on board. That the typical wave that this ship would face would register about 65 feet tall. And being in the bow, you're gonna be the first to go up and the first to come down. This is why it was the roughest ride. And also how they decided to arrange the classes on board. So third class passengers were stuffed here in the bow. In fact, third class begins just one. board compensates to the curve except for one spot. 
this entire staircase here. Every section of it from the promenade deck all the way down to our deck has two design flaws. One, <clears throat> it's at far too steep of an angle. And two, it faces towards the bow. Now imagine yourself walking up or down while the ship was still in service and all of a sudden the, sh the ship starts to go up a giant wave. Well, this staircase is not going to stay under you for very long. In fact, there's going to be nothing that's going to be st to stop you from being physically thrown off the stairs. So, this wasn't a popular staircase to travel with, with crew members as well as passengers. Originally, however, this was three third-class accommodations. So, in fact, we found a room there, a room here, and a room here. Of course, once the ship got here in the 60s, the room was enlarged to meet today's hotel expectations. However, the way it's sort of stripped down to its bare minimum kind of gives you an idea of how it would have looked during the Second World War. They had to use every stateroom on board as part of sleeping quarters. So everything was taken out of the room, and then they built bunks all along the wall. 200 square feet is all you had inside that stateroom. So you were allotted basically 10 square feet to yourself, and that was about it. And now imagine with bunks inside and everything, you really didn't do too much inside the actual rooms themselves. But this, of course, then converted into a hotel room, then becoming an office, now becoming part of the tour. And that is because of the constant reports of paranormal activity throughout the years. This room saw everything from much like the cargo hold, just about everything that can be reported was reported in here. But more commonly, it was oftentimes poltergeist activity in which things would move on their own to the parking lot and into new sections of the ship. This is actually bringing us a brand new maze with a new character, the character known as the Chef. Uh, the story behind it is actually one of the urban legends of the Queen Mary. Uh, this story goes back to World War II, in which a chef was on board making food for the men, but apparently he had gotten a group of them sick, but didn't really seem to care that they had gotten sick off of his food. He said, either eat it or you don't, I don't really care. So the men took extreme exception to that, so they decided that they would get back at him, and jokingly shoved him into one of his ovens while it was still on. Unfortunately, the door, missed, the door jammed, they couldn't get it open, and he basically was burned to death. Whether or not that's real, we don't know, but it's always a great story to tell. This particular maze is gonna be dedicated to that story in which the chef has now come back and is seeking revenge on anybody who passes through his first class swimming pool. Now, the pool itself, Featured, or the pool area featured an eliminated fountain, two drinking fountains, 18 dressing rooms, and a world famous mother of pearl ceiling. The pool dimensions are 60 feet by 42 feet, a shallow point of 6 feet deep, and a deep point of 12. With a shallow point of 6 feet deep, it was too deep for the California State Code, and so the pool had to be basically disconnected. Third class was given time in here, but only when first class had gone to high tea. After tea was over, third class had to leave and first class would come back. But get this, out of request from the first class passengers, after third class left, they would ask the crew to drain the pool, clean it, and refill it. Every single time. To this day... The... Sure. Danny. Mm -hmm. Tour guide, Danny. This one you too, Absolutely. Cool. All right. Thank you. I You're welcome. No problem. Thank pretty you. Pretty cool, huh? Obviously, I'm not going to show the whole thing. Didn't, obviously, watch it and see the whole thing. The bits and pieces is going to be too long. And my battery's giving me issues. But it's pretty cool. You hear me? We're under the light boats. See one there? You'll definitely be able to see right out here. This is what it is. looks like outside. I'm going to check things out walk around. That's how high we are off the edge. Highway off, off the ground, that is. Way up there. It's awesome. Big funnel. We've done a lot of filming. They've done a lot of filming for movies on here. I think they did Poseidon, parts of the uh, they did that Raise a Titanic movie. They've used this for a lot of different filming, for just different stuff, not just for the ship movies. Pretty cool. So like I said, we're just going to walk around, check things out. See, they're doing a lot of construction. See how it's all like blocked off. Okay, we're headed aft, as they say, which means towards the back. The bow would be behind me, which is the front. 
Over there is where you can take a carnival cruise. Looks like an immigration. Imagination. <laughs> I thought it said fair. I thought it was carnival immigration. <laughs> immigration. Imagination, not imagination, not immigration. Looks like you can go dancing right here. Look at the room here. Dancing. Let me see your moves. <laughs> She's not shy as you can tell. Telephone anyone? Obviously there's no phone in there. Guess you can go in there and use a cell phone. <laughs> Why are you talking like that? It's British. You better talk back. Hi. How are you today? <laughs> That's nice weather we're having today. That's a horrible British. Alright, I'll go back to my American accent. Not much better. No. How are you today? You don't play a lot. Oh, you're talking to me? Gymnasium. Speed bag out over there. Looks like an electric chair. Do this thing. It's supposed to be a, something for the gym. It looks like an electric chair. <laughs> Doesn't it? It's a vibrating chair. <laughs> okay. If that's worse or not. All right, moving on. Oh, that's a gym. <laughs> yeah. It's very state of the art. Gym equipment, yeah. That's a running machine right there. That's a mod, I mean, old day that's not a That's not a running machine. No, that, a that's a, machine. Ro a rowing machine. <laughs> I'm sorry. And the horse. All right, we're gonna go down to the engine room. Um, there's a story I, I wasn't able to record about a guy that got uh, smashed in a door, one of the uh, watertight doors, his name is John something. So they say go down and visit John where he died. So we're gonna go down to the engine room. As you can see the engine room. And we'll see if we can conjure him up. It's like one of Tell you about it. Yeah, it's one of these water. It's one of the watertight doors, number thirteen. We have to find it. Okay, this is probably thirteen. I think this is thirteen here. This is where the door used to be. The one back there. The one back there. Oh, there's a door. This one in front of me. Oh, look at this blood right there. Blood right there. Look. Yeah, it looks like blood. Why would it be running down like that? Oh, yeah. So this is where John was smashed. Yeah, I think it's where John was smashed. Yeah. I, just repeat, I just repeated what you said. That made no sense. John? John? That's Kristen, by the way. She's going to help me with my John? future videos. So get used to her. I don't feel anything, Richard. No. I don't feel anything. I don't see anything. Yeah, I'm assuming this piece wasn't here. It looks like this would go across the opening. If this here wouldn't go to do that. No, John. That All right. Like blood. I know it does look like blood, huh? Look at that. It looks like that's supposed to be blood. You see it running down. I think that's supposed to just kind of give you the idea, so you know where you're at. No, John. All right, moving on. The lifeboats. What a difference from the Titanic Olympic lifeboats. Twice the size and twice as many. Unfortunately, we can't get to the front. They're doing a lot of work. The bow, that is. And there's your mast. There's one of the machine guns. Or I don't know if it's a machine gun, but an anti-air gun, I think it is. When they had the ship for the military, with the transporter. When it's painted gray, that is. Some big anchors there, or cranes. And let's see if I can zoom into the very front where Jack would be, like on the Titanic, the very front. There we are. Pretty cool. Can't get any closer than that. But everything on here is massive. Everything is so big. Crow's nest. Oh, there's a way out there. You 
definitely could see a long way being that high. Here's part of the bridge. All above us here, that's one corner of it. So we got another dance floor. Go ahead. I'm gonna do her dance again. Oh wait, I gotta back up. Hold on. There we go. She's oh, dancing by herself though. Go ahead, Jared, dance. No, you don't dance. It's like the radio room. This makes sense, all the radios. There'll be a radio room. The little old microphones, like on the radio channel, the uh, DJs would use back then, type of thing. Wireless room. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Uh, it's like 4.30 now. It's getting hot. Been here a long time. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't been here you, before, you should definitely check it out. It's a lot of fun. It's like 35 bucks, and you get the, uh, the tour and uh, you can see the uh, Titanic stuff. So, uh, like I said, hopefully you like it. All right, so you got anything to say? Go ahead and like, click, uh, go ahead and, like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Easy for her to say. All right, guys. If you like the video, hit the like. I think that's what she's trying to say. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. And I'll see you next time. Where or what? Evo 8 Rich. <laughs> I'll be somewhere else doing something else. Doing something else. Bye.